So in case you didn't notice the bags under my eyes and the mess that I used to call my living room, Nisha and I recently became parents as we welcomed our baby girl into the world last week. Despite the lack of sleep and the poopy diapers, we are just completely overjoyed right now and I can honestly say that this is the happiest that I've ever been in my entire life. I know that this is something that I've been keeping a secret from you guys for some time, but for the last nine months, Nisha has done an absolutely incredible job through throughout her entire pregnancy and the labor. And if I'm honest with you, right now I'm just filled with this overwhelming respect for women that have been through this incredible process of bringing new life into the world. This is going to be a bit more of a rambly video than usual, so feel free to skip this one if you're not interested. But I'm just going to kind of go over some of my thoughts on becoming a parent and what the future for us holds. These past couple of years, my entire life has been flipped completely upside down. Just this month, Nisha and I celebrated our two year wedding anniversary, which was when we both got married over in Vancouver two years ago, and she officially made the move over to my tiny studio apartment in East London. It's crazy to consider that the redesign of that apartment is basically the only reason that I ended up making videos here on YouTube, as somehow that video caught the algorithm and kickstarted a future for me of posting videos onto the internet for a living, which still feels absolutely bonkers every time I pick up this camera to record. The reason that I bring this up is before that project and before we even got married, I was making a pretty long and miserable commute to work in central London every morning, whilst living on a building site that has now become this family home. At the time, it was missing an external wall, it didn't have any central heating or a functioning kitchen, and this was all throughout the rain and snow during the cold British winter months. This extension to our family home was actually the first project that I ever designed and got built on my own, which brought our bathroom count up to two and redesigned the entirety of the ground floor layout. As many of you know, not all too long ago we moved back here and now you may realize why. My mum was quite certain when we were designing this place that she wanted it to be a flexible space where she could have us all grow together as a family. But the only way that this works is because I'm incredibly fortunate to have a wife and mother who both get along unbelievably well, as I don't really know how often that this happens. Nisha and I knew that when it came to raising children, this was the obvious place to do so, together as a family. So we moved back in and pretty much around the same time we found out that Nisha was already one month pregnant, and really, the rest is history. As for now, we've made the decision to keep our daughter's identity off of social media, as we really feel that the negatives outweigh the benefits for us at this point. And although cute children are an easy way to get a lot of views, some of you may be disappointed or relieved to hear that parenting isn't really what this channel is all about. However, I am looking forward to the ultimate challenge of proving that it is possible to live a somewhat minimalist lifestyle and be a parent at the same time, even with all of the baby gear and sharing a home with multiple non-minimalists. So in the future, you can continue to expect to see more exciting design and well-being related content. But if you're interested in keeping up to date with behind the scenes stuff like this, you can find it all over on my Patreon page, where my supporters get news like this long before everyone else, as well as exclusive AMAs, updates, and discussions regarding future content. So in case you're interested, feel free to check out my Patreon page down in the video description below. But also please don't if you don't have the means, as you can also check out additional content over on my Instagram and my Twitter accounts. So I'd love it if you go over there and gave me a follow. But yeah, it's been a crazy week and I suppose that's it for now. I should probably go and plan my next video or maybe go and get some sleep. <laughs> See ya.